Ever wondered which is better, traditional e-commerce or drop shipping? Well, you're not alone. Today, we're going to break down these two popular e-commerce models. First up, traditional e-commerce, where you manage inventory, shipping, and customer service all on your own. Then, there's drop shipping, a hands-off model where you sell products directly from the manufacturer. Each has its own set of advantages and challenges, so let's dive in and explore these two fascinating business models. First, we'll tackle the pros of traditional e-commerce. Now let's get one thing straight. Traditional e-commerce isn't some old, dusty relic of the past. It's a proven, flexible business model with a lot of advantages. So let's dive in and explore some of these perks. One of the biggest benefits of traditional e-commerce is control over inventory. This means you decide what you want to sell, how much you want to stock, and when you want to restock. You're not at the mercy of a third-party supplier's whims or errors. You're in the driver's seat, my friend. Then, there's the matter of product quality. With traditional e-commerce, you can personally inspect the items you're selling. This allows you to ensure that each product meets your standards before it reaches the customer. This not only safeguards your reputation, but also minimizes the risk of returns and bad reviews. Now let's talk about branding. Traditional e-commerce gives you the opportunity to build a unique brand identity. You're not just selling products, you're selling a lifestyle, a story, an experience. You can design your own packaging, create personalized thank you notes, even decide how your products are displayed. In other words, you control the narrative. What's more, traditional e-commerce typically offers higher profit margins. Yes, you heard that right. While you might have to shell out a bit more upfront for inventory, the potential returns can be significantly higher. This is because you're not sharing your profits with a dropshipper. Every penny of profit is yours to keep. Finally, traditional e-commerce allows for better customer service. You have direct control over the entire customer journey, from order placement to delivery. This means you can ensure a seamless, enjoyable shopping experience for your customers, leading to higher customer satisfaction and loyalty. Sounds pretty good, right? But traditional e-commerce also has its downsides. And we'll be delving into those next, so stay tuned, because the story is just getting started. Now let's look at the flip side of traditional e-commerce. Sure, running a traditional e-commerce business has its perks, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There's a flip side that demands attention. First off, one of the biggest challenges in traditional e-commerce is managing inventory. You've got to keep track of what's in stock, what's running low, and what needs to be reordered. It's a juggling act that requires constant attention. And if you drop the ball, you could end up with unhappy customers, or even worse, no customers at all. Then, there's the issue of dealing with shipping logistics. You're responsible for packing and shipping each order making sure it gets to the customer on time and in one piece. A and let's not forget about dealing with returns. That's a whole other can of worms. It's a time-consuming process. And the more your business grows, the more complex it becomes. Another significant drawback is the upfront cost of stocking products. You need to purchase your inventory before you can sell it. This involves a substantial initial investment. This upfront cost not only ties up your capital, but also puts you at risk if the products don't sell as expected. Speaking of risk, that's another con worth mentioning. Traditional e-commerce involves more risk. You're investing in inventory without any guarantee you'll be able to sell it. You're also responsible for all the operational aspects from inventory management to customer service. If something goes wrong, it's on you. And finally, the time commitment. Running a traditional e-commerce business is not a part-time job. It's a full-time commitment that requires dedication, hard work, and a lot of time. So, while traditional e-commerce has its benefits, it's important to remember that it also has its challenges. It's not a walk in the park. It requires a significant investment, both financially and in terms of time and effort. So that's the traditional e-commerce model. Now let's switch gears and talk about dropshipping. So what about dropshipping? What are the benefits? Well, let's dive right into it. One of the biggest draws of dropshipping is the ease of getting started. With traditional e-commerce, you might need a warehouse, an inventory, and a whole lot of time and energy to manage it all. But with dropshipping, 
Not so much. All you need is a good idea, a solid marketing plan, and a reliable supplier. It's like jumping into the deep end without worrying about the water. Speaking of suppliers, that's another pro. With dropshipping, you're not limited by your own inventory. You can sell products from various suppliers, which means your online store can offer a wide range of items. You're not confined by the walls of a physical warehouse. Your store is as expansive as your ambition. Now let's talk about costs. Dropshipping typically requires lower startup costs. You don't have to buy a ton of inventory up front and you're not shelling out for storage space. Instead, you're buying products as customers order them. This means you're not sitting on unsold products and your cash flow is healthier. It's like having your cake and eating it too. And then there's the whole shipping shebang. With traditional e-commerce, you'd have to manage shipping, tracking, and returns. That's a lot of logistics and let's be honest, a lot of headaches. But with drop shipping, your supplier handles all of that. So you can focus on what you do best, selling products and building your brand. Drop shipping is a great option for those new to e-commerce. It's a way to dip your toes into the world of online selling without taking on too much risk. It's a stepping stone, a launch pad, a way to learn the ropes while still making a profit. However, just like traditional e-commerce, drop shipping isn't without its challenges. But that's a conversation for another scene. For now, let's bask in the pros, the upsides, the sunny side of the e-commerce street that is drop shipping. Now, let's navigate through the potential pitfalls of drop shipping. While drop shipping can be a less strenuous avenue into the world of e-commerce, it's not without its downsides. One of the most significant drawbacks is the reality of lower profit margins. Unlike traditional e-commerce, where buying wholesale allows for potentially higher profit margins, dropshipping often results in a smaller slice of the pie. You're essentially paying for the convenience of not having to handle inventory or shipping, which can eat into your profits. Another potential pitfall of dropshipping is the lack of control over products and shipping. With traditional e-commerce, you're in the driver's seat. You have direct influence over product quality, inventory levels, and shipping methods. But with dropshipping, you're leaving these crucial aspects in the hands of third-party suppliers. This lack of control can lead to issues with product quality, out-of-stock situations, and even shipping delays, all of which can negatively impact your customer satisfaction and brand reputation. Speaking of suppliers, there's also the risk of supplier errors. Imagine a scenario where a customer receives the wrong item, or worse, doesn't receive their order at all due to a supplier's mistake. These errors can damage your customer relationships and may even lead to negative reviews, which can be particularly damaging for a fledgling online business. Finally, building a unique brand can be a challenge with dropshipping. Since you're selling products from various suppliers, it can be difficult to create a cohesive brand identity. This is in stark contrast to traditional e-commerce, where you can carefully curate your product line to reflect your brand's image and values. So, while dropshipping can be an easy way to break into the e-commerce market, it's essential to weigh these potential drawbacks against the benefits. Remember, every business model has its ups and downs, advantages and disadvantages. It's all about finding what works best for you and your unique business goals. So there you have it, the ups and downs of both business models. So, traditional e-commerce or dropshipping, which one should you choose? We've journeyed through the world of e-commerce, traversing the terrains of both traditional and dropshipping models. Let's do a quick recap. Traditional e-commerce, with its control over inventory and quality, offers a solid foundation for brand building. It's a route that demands more initial investment and involves the logistics of storage and shipping, but it can lead to a strong, consistent, brand image. On the flip side, we have drop shipping, the lean startup of the e-commerce world. It's a model that requires less capital upfront, offers vast product variety, and frees you from the hassle of inventory management. Yet it comes with its own set of challenges, including less control over product quality, potential shipping issues, and thinner profit margins. Now the big question, which one should you choose? Well, that's not for me to decide. It's a decision that hinges on your resources, your willingness to take risks, and your business objectives. Are you ready to invest and manage inventory for the sake of brand building? Traditional e-commerce may be your path. Or do you prefer to test the waters with less risk and more flexibility? Then dropshipping might be your ticket. 
Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all answer here. The best model for you depends on your unique situation and goals. Good luck in your e-commerce journey.